Um, problem solving on Venn diagrams is a common type of questions that a type of question that would pop up. So we will be dealing with two sets and then going further to three sets. Uh, but the concept that we're going to use um, in two sets can be applied into three sets as well. So I'm going to start with a simple example. Um, usually Venn diagrams would come as a worded problem um, and there is a trick involving the intersection here. So um, this is a quick one. So if I have 40 people asked if they play volleyball or football and 25 say they play football, 15 say they play volleyball, 5 say they play both and 5 say they play neither. Now, if you add up all the numbers, you'll immediately notice that they don't add up to 40. This is because we're double counting, and this is the trick that we're going to deal with throughout today's video. So this idea of double counting, because I'm counting people that play both, but these people that play both are also counted inside this 15 and inside this 25. So I'm counting them basically three times. Um, so... Whenever you're dealing with Venn diagrams and problem solving with the Venn diagrams, always deal with the intersection first, especially if you want to illustrate this information. So I have two sets that I'm dealing with. I'm dealing with volleyball and football, so I'm going to create a two-set Venn diagram. And then I'm going to put a box around them just to show the universal set. So the plane, you can add the plane neither as well. So the plane neither is right outside, so these are outside. And then those that play both you have to specify inside. So always start with the inside, whether you have a number or you don't have a number. And we're going to show what happens when you don't have a number. So five is here on the inside. Um, and then the volleyball is 15 people, but you've already counted five of them in here, which means you're left with 10 people. So now the total of this volleyball circle is 10 plus 5, which is 15. So we, we are still s sticking to the numbers. And the same thing with football. There are 25 people, but I've already included 5 of them in the intersection, which means I left, I'm left with 20. Now, if I try to add up all of these numbers, so 20 plus 10 plus 5 plus 5, I am going to get 40, which is my total number of people. So this is basically what we're going to deal with today. Um, sometimes the intersection will be missing and sometimes the um, um, intersection will be given. And you always end it with this final step of just checking that your numbers are correct. So um, you, I would encourage you to pause this video and try to just fill in the Venn diagram for now. And then we're going to answer this question. So usually questions come up as such, and then they want you to work out how many study neither. Now you can do it in your head if you want to, but it's much easier to see it through a Venn diagram. Um, so I'm just going to set up, this is the German language, this is Hindi language, and I would encourage you to pause and try it out. So as I said, the first thing you are going to put is the intersection. So five study both languages, which means from the 19 German, I've already counted five, so I'm left with 14. And from the 14 Hindi, I've already counted five, so I'm left with nine. Now, the total is 29 students. So if I go 14 plus five plus nine, that's 28. So if my total is 29, so obviously 29 minus 28, so I'm left with one. So to answer the question, make sure you always answer the question. Um, only one, one student studies neither. Um, so a bit of a different question. This time, um, the intersection is not given. So what do you do in this case? We are going to represent it as an unknown. So we have 25 girls here and 13 have... Arabics and 17 have gymnastics. So let's just label them as A and G. Um, and we also have further information that one girl has done neither before. So we have this value outside. So always think about the values outside your two sets. Um, we don't know how many did both. So in order to answer any of these questions, we need to fill in the Venn diagram. We don't know how many did both. So I'm going to represent it with X. And then I know that if I had X using the previous slides that we've done, 
the arabics is 13 but in all the other examples we've all, always taken this number and we've subtracted it from the intersection so 13 minus x should go in here and the same thing for gymnastics i have 17 minus x now i've set up my numbers but i still don't know what x is so let me use another information that i have remember when i said at the end of the questions you add up the numbers and they should add up to your total so it means that if i take all my numbers 13 minus x plus x plus 17 minus x these are all the numbers inside plus the one they should add up to 25 which is how many girls i have so if i simplify this i'm just gonna collect my numbers and then i'm gonna collect my letters so 13 plus 17 plus 1 will give me 31. Minus x plus x will end up being 0, and so I'm left with just 1 negative x. And then moving things around, you're going to have 31 minus 25 equals to x, and so you have 6 equals to x, or x equals to 6. So this means that my intersection is actually 6. And let's continue with the question. If I continue this, this will be 7, and this will be 11. And I could check my answer now. If I go 1 plus 7 plus 6 plus 11, I should get 25. Um, so that's just me checking that I have my numbers correct. So if I want to answer my questions here, remember we just filled in the Venn diagram. Um, so for part A, how many take both activities? It's six. That's what we found. Um, the number of girls that take gymnastics but not Arabic. So we are looking at, um, remember if you're highlighting a Venn, Venn diagram, so we're looking at this area only, so not including the intersection. It means that we have 11. And then we need girls that have taken at least... Um, bring this back, um, have taken at least one of these activities. So with at least questions, it might be confusing. So just think about at least being that um, you could have one activity or more. So you, you are allowed to have one activity, two activities, three activities, and so on. You're not allowed no activity. So you have to have at least one. Um, so when, for example, if school tells you you have to pass at least one subject, it means um, you could pass 10 subjects, but at least you have one passing. Um, same thing here. So if I have uh, at least one activity, it means I could have just one or just one, or I could have both. So the people that take at least one activity are all of the people inside the van. So 7 plus 6 plus 11 which is 24. Um, or you can think about, well, there's only one person that doesn't take any, which is what I'm not counting here. So 25 minus 1 will give me 24. So these are for the two sets. And you can expand the same idea for three sets. I'm going to deal with a simple example with three sets uh, where the intersection is given but you use the same concept if the intersection is not given. So for three sets, we're going to deal with the same thing. We're going to always start with the center here with the, th the three intersections, but then we're not going to move to the big circles. We're going to move to these first, and then we're going to move outwards. So it looks really complicated with all the other arrows, but you start with the center and then go outwards. So... I have a group of 105 students, so this is my total. And it's a lot of information given here, so um, let's see what we have. We have mathematics, history, geography. You can read the question on your own. So mathematics, history, and geography. And um, for maths, I have a total of 70 students that passed. For history, I have 60, and for geography, I have 45. And then they're telling me the intersection of both. So 30 past math and history. So math and history is 30. And I have uh, history and geography is 35. 
and I have math and geography is 25. And I also have the intersection and 15 is all of them. So if you didn't have this 15, you'd start with the same logic of x and then this minus x, that minus x, that minus x, um, and so on. But luckily we have a number now, so I'm just going to show you how it is with the number. So 15 goes here. And then we start with the intersections. So we're going to look at these first. We're going to look at the two intersections. So math and history is 30. So this whole thing is 30. But we've already taken 15, which means that what I'm left with is 15. So this whole thing should add up to 30. Because remember when highlighting the Venn diagrams, this represents the intersection of math and history. So math and history should be equal to 30. And in this case, it, the numbers should add up to 30. Um, so what you're going to do, just like the previous examples, you subtract from the intersection. So this should be 30 and I'm going to take 30 minus 15 and that's going to be 15. Um, same logic with, say, history and geography. This whole thing is history and geography, and history and geography has to be 35, so I'm going to take 35. Instead of writing 35 here, I've already counted 15 inside, so 35 minus 15, and that's going to give me 20. And then same thing for math and geography. I have 25, and I've already counted 15, so I am left with 10. So you can add these up. 15 plus 10 will give me the 25. 20 plus 15 will give me the 35. And 15 plus 15 will give me the 30. So you've done the intersections. Now in the case that you don't have the x, you can continue with, say, this is 30 minus x. This was 25 minus x. And this is 35 minus x. So you continue with the same logic if your intersection is unknown. Um, so... And then we move on to these. Uh, for these, you're going to end up subtracting three numbers, not like the previous slides where we were subtracting just one number. You are going to subtract three numbers. So for math, we have 70. But I'm going to subtract all of these because from this whole thing is my math. This whole thing has to add up to 70. And I've already taken 15 out. I've taken another 15 out. And I've taken another 10 out. So I've taken all of these numbers out from the 70. So actually I'm left with 30 here. So 30 people only passed math. They didn't pass history. They didn't pass geography. So it's only 30 people that passed only math. And use the same logic for the others. So 60 is history, but I'm going to subtract 15, 15, and 20. So I'm left with 10. And then geography is the interesting one so um, for geography you have 45 so 45 minus 10 minus 15 minus 20 is actually zero um, so usually you do get a number but in this question it was zero um, this made me double check all my numbers which is a good thing for you to do but it turns out this is zero um, well as I mentioned before you need to just double check that everything's adding up to this um, so adding all the numbers up, um, going through the numbers, so we add them all up, 30, 15, and 10, I'm just going across here, and then 15, 10, and 20, obviously I don't need to add the zero, but there you go, and that's going to give me a total of 100. But my total number of students is 105, which means that I have five students that passed none. So these will be outside. So these are my none. So none of these three subjects. So now that I've filled it up, I can answer my question. So um, uh, I need a student that passed at least one subject. So remember, with at least one, it means that he could have passed one, two, or three subjects. So one, two, or three subjects is all of whatever is inside this Venn diagram, which is 100. So not the five, because five it means he passed none, which is not what we need. We need at least one subject. And then pass exactly two subjects. So exactly two meaning it can't be one and it can't be three. So what we're looking at is the, um, are these. 
okay because if I highlight this then it won't be exactly two it will be three um, so we have a total of 10 plus 15 plus 20 so that will give us um, 45 and then someone who passed geography and failed math so past geography is all of this um, but the 10 and the 15 are people that actually passed math and we want them to fail math in fiction um, so it means it's only the 20 here that have passed geography because they belong in the geography circle but they don't belong in the math circle so it's only 20 people that passed geography but failed math and then passed all the three subjects given that they passed two uh, they passed two um the wording is a bit weird because if you said passed all three subjects it automatically assumes they passed the two subjects so it's actually the 15 here so straightforward uh, failed mathematics given that they passed history uh, with given actually these both these are conditional probabilities which are explained in another video but um, for now you don't need them you could just use a Venn diagram so someone who failed math given that they passed history so given that they passed history it means you need to look at the history so we need to look at all the people that passed history this is my pool of people that I'm going to consider and then from this pool of people, I want to see how many failed math. So failed math, again, means they are not included in the math circle. So that's 20 and the 10. So that's a total of 30 people. So hopefully the video is clear. Um, there, I don't have an example where the intersection is missing, but you use the same logic as the previous one, where you start with an unknown here, you subtract, you keep on subtracting, um, so you keep on subtracting as you do and then in order to find x you need to add all of them up so in here we did 30 minus x plus x plus 70 minus x plus the one equals to 25 and then we solved it so same thing here we should have added all the numbers if we had them and the 5 and made it equal to 105 and that would have helped us find, helps us find x um, so just to take out of this video, always start with the intersection, go out to the double intersections, and then go to the full set, and then add them all up, make sure they add up to the total, and if there's anything missing, add it outside the intersections.